but right now, coming to the stage, Mr. Honesty! Mr. Honesty! Mr. Honesty! Oh, and gee, I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> okay, there's an elephant in the room. Did you notice that I'm not a girl? <laughs> How astute of you. So while the other female comedians talk about their periods, all I leave you with are question marks. <laughs> oh, punctuation. <laughs> People get upset when we talk about this. Some of you are asking, why are you wearing a dress? And I could ask you back, why not? Is the clothing just perpetuating the divisions between us? Dividing us by genders? Yes. And then we'd get into an argument about your gender-based prejudices and who asked who first and a whole lot of crap. And since you're in the audience and I have the microphone, that could get really complicated and unproductive. Here's the hit parade of answers. I'm straight, happily married to a wonderful woman who puts up with me in my dress. <laughs> and I don't wear a dress all the time. I have no delusions about being a girl. The doctor saw a dick, and he was right. Sometimes I am a dick. I'm not transitioning, and most importantly, nobody's gonna whack my wee wee. <laughs> I tried on my wife's clothing, and I discovered I like dressing up. <laughs> and guys, you might try it too. Take a walk on the wild side. See the world from another direction. Yes. So I'm faced with the creative dilemma. As a performer, do I hide this element of my personality, or do I exploit this trait? Well, as you can tell by my moniker, I'm here to tell you the truth. Whether you like it or not, I'm not hiding it. It's a great tradition in comedy. From Shakespeare, As You Like It, Milton Berle, Jonathan Winters, Flip Wilson, Monty Python, Dame Edna, Robin Williams, Jim Carrey, Martin Lawrence, Jamie Foxx, Tyler Perry, and of course, Eddie Izzard. Look at where Tom Hanks got his start in TV. It was Bosom Buddies. It's educational. Women's clothes have so many different ways to open and connect. I'm fascinated with the creativity. They've got buttons and snaps and hooks and zippers. This has to go over that and under that. Insert flap A into slot B. It's like trying to figure out directions from Ikea. You have to be a gymnast to get into these things. And it's not just because I have the wrong parts and I don't fit. These are just some of the crazy things that women have to do to look pretty. I'm just as confused as you are, but I've grown beyond the gender-based clothing conformity. So I'm not gay, I'm not bi, I'm not doing the Richard Simmons voice. Come on, people, energy, energy, energy! So I'm not looking for dick. Dude, put that thing away. Seriously. So I don't really fit into the LGBT community mold. I can't really represent for them. I had to go searching on the internet to figure out where I fit in in the world. And I found out I am what is called a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out oh if you do God. something different from the norm. <laughs> if you do not have sexual relations exclusively with your spouse in the missionary position only for the purposes of procreation, if not, then you too are a pervert! You are a pervert! <laughs> That is how prejudicial categorization works. A guy wearing a dress is not dangerous. A guy trying to get you in his van is dangerous. Want some candy, little girl? A movie producer who can make you a star. Hey, babe, you got a deal? But first, you have to do one thing for him. 
<laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Misusing the term is dangerous. It's like calling wolf at the wrong time. It's a derogatory kind of label that people put onto things that don't fit their model of conformity. Well, I'm the opposite. I'm the supermodel of nonconformity. <laughs> I get to be spectacular. And once you get past all the prejudice, it's very liberating. <laughs> I've performed as just another guy in a t-shirt, and it doesn't feel right. I mean, when I look like that, I have all the male attributes. I don't care how I look. <laughs> Maybe I ought to really let myself go. Get fat, so I look real manly. They say you should dress for success. I've got the dress. When I get dressed up like this, to perform to people like you, I do care how I look. Why can't I look pretty? Why can't I be pretty? Why can't I look pretty? Holy, I'm pretty. I'm too pretty for this city. I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a good guy. I'm just a guy in a dress. What? Too weird? My clothing is designed for a woman, but it smells like a man. <laughs> for all of the bad stuff men do, why do I want to support that team? It's like when you wear the logo merchandise from a team that you like. It's big business. Somebody's making big money off of your fanaticism. But you aren't down there on the field playing for them, are you? Well, I'm wearing the uniform for a team that I like very much. Women aren't the ones out there causing wars or killing people. Yeah. Technically, I'm what's called a cross-dresser. And I'm new at this. Apparently, transvestite is another derogatory slur. As if we don't already have enough of them. From what I'm finding online, about 80% of cross-dressers are straight. So I'm not so weird. You don't see a lot of them because they hide indoors. The others come out as drag queens and their alter egos are singing and dancing, lip-singing, show tunes. Okay. I chop down trees, I wear high heels, suspendies, and a bra. I put on women's clothing and hang around in bars. <laughs> Anybody recognize that? Yeah. So you can tell that singing show tunes isn't really me. Again, I break the mold. Obviously, I've grown beyond needing to prove how macho I am. I want to tell you. It takes real balls to wear a dress. I'm a whore. I'm an attention whore. Big difference! I'm Mr. Honesty. I'm here to play with you. I'm Mr. Honesty. I'm here to play with you. I'm here to play with you. I'm here to play with you.